It's no longer a debate of, well, you know, I think the Democrats uh, mean very well. We just have different ways of getting there. They raided our president's home. There is no going back from this, everybody. There is no going back. And we need to send a message to the media right now because we got a lot of them. We got the New York Times and all of them. The raid at Mar-a-Lago only makes me like Donald Trump even more. What a bold statement from a traitor to our country, cheered on by a room full of traitors. And stick around till the end of this video where I call him a traitor to his face and make him run out of his own studio. You won't believe your eyes. I only say when watching idiots like this speak something that seems to be lost by our brains oftentimes when watching footage these days, consider your sources. Sure, it's a very strong speech, where Charlie Kirk, a nemesis of mine and of the American people, decides to rile up a crowd of complete morons who no longer can think because they are brainwashed by the far-right ultra-maga wing of this country that is the poisoning and the undoing of our democracy worse every single day that we do not enforce our laws to make it stop, continues to bury themselves in hypocrisy and in being disloyal to the country that they claim so erroneously, such false patriotism, waving a flag that they disintegrate every day with their actions. No longer will we accept this. Taken to an extreme to prove my point, the analogy is exactly the same of Kirk defending Trump in this instance and being cheered on is like Goebbels defending Hitler and a crowd cheering on. Goebbels saying, I tell you what, the American forces invading to try to stop Adolf Hitler only makes me love him more. And they clap and he claps for himself. Nice applause for yourself, by the way, Charlie. You moron, you poison on our country. You're done, boy. You're done, son. No more undermining what this country stands for. Will our law enforcement agency step up finally? Will our government put, our, put its foot down as the rule of law is eroded by people that are ginning up a civil war in this country based every time on lies? Watch the way he describes the raid of top secret documents, nuclear sensitive documents, documents that we will find out, but rumors have it may include the addresses and names of CIA operatives, documents that could endanger all of our lives by giving up our positions of our troops and our nukes to foreign adversaries and calling that a paper dispute. Play the clip. When the Federal Bureau of Investigation with 270 man hours and 30 agents went into Mar-a-Lago to desecrate and, dare I say, invade a president's home over a paperwork dispute. And a paperwork dispute. Oh, is it just a paper dispute? You've taken great tips from your Lord and Savior, Donald Trump of how to completely flip a situation you're caught in by just using small words to pretend it's not a big deal. But guess what? Your followers are stupid enough to fall for it, but the country at large is not. Our law enforcement agencies are not. And as I proved directly to your face, you traitor to this country, Charlie Kirk, you will pay the price for ginning up an insurrection on our government, on our democracy, trying to overturn a free and fair election. You did that along with Donald Trump and many of his cohorts, you sent busloads of people to the ellipse on Jan 6, admitted by your own mouth as I debated you to your face in our abortion debate, and it ended with footage you cut out of me calling you out to your damn face about saying you're sending buses there and telling them to fight like hell and calling for a civil war. And then they go in and try to stop the certification of our election and try and threaten to, to, to take the lives of our lawmakers, both Republican and Democrat. There is a line too far. Trump crossed it and you crossed it. No more, no more. With broadly undermining our democracy by backing an insurrection literally to overthrow the election of our nation that you supported. I mean, Turning Points literally funded so, Trump's Jan 6 rally. So Ben, I have a question. That led to an insurrection a attempt on our government and the death of many people, including police officers that you claim to, to love and care for. Where was I on January 6th? 
you were doing a podcast in which you said, I'm getting 500 emails a minute of people saying, we want civil war, oh, so and wait, ginning that up. You were arrested also, at the Capitol. Not that day. And not I was day. in Phoenix, Arizona. And you also so sent how, busloads how do you, of people you, to the Capitol you, on Jan 6th. How do you justify you being an insurrectionist? You sent people to the Capitol on Jan 6th so, for the insurrection. So you do take blame for the insurrection that happened I blame, on Jan 6th? I take no blame. That's slanderous and wrong. Why do you take no blame for it? You what sent buses of people there. To the ellipse that got nowhere near the Capitol. You're but, the insurrectionist But that day here. that you ginned that up. That is libelous that, and slanderous that day, and you know it. That day that you So gin, what's the final question you have it. here? That day that you ginned up. I ginned up nothing. That that's day a disgusting that you ginned up. lie. You're the only one that got arrested You Capitol. said you were sending patriots to fight. I said Trump. nothing like that. that yes, is, you did. You said, you've never you said, said patriots fight, to fight. Metaphorically fight. And you said they want a Listen, civil war. This is so typical of the left. You a civil war. You, we're done. <laughs> Last Thank sentence. You. If you're not responsible for what happened on, on Jan 6, Thank is you. that because unintended consequences happened that Thank you didn't you. anticipate? I hope that Kind of like up. mothers that have an unintended pregnancy, they didn't anticipate. So if you want to be cut some slack for Jan 6, maybe you could cut women some slack. Thank who you. Who unintendedly get pregnant. Thank that you. sound like a deal? You're the domestic terrorist. I was arrested for peaceful protesting, my friend. Thank you. Domestic terrorist. You ginned up an insurrection on our on our country. So well done. Good job, everybody. So go ahead and run, Charlie Kirk. Run, like you always do, because that's your only option left when faced with the truth. Like I made you run out of your own studio by making you confront the truth and the result of the actions you took, the consequences that will be coming your way through the legal system of this country, finally making you pay for what you are trying to do for your own personal gain at the detriment of the United States of America. Run, little baby. I'm Ben Glebe for Rebel HQ. I do three of these videos every week, and they're not always as angry as this. They can be funny as well. You can also check out my new stand-up comedy special, The Mad King, for free on YouTube right now. It just dropped, and I take on all the hypocrisies that we are being subjected to in this country, and I at least think of us a chance to laugh at them, which is needed through all of the madness. And if you wonder why it's called The Mad King, you just saw this video. Does that not explain it?